Immerse yourself in the intriguing realm of cybersecurity with TAC Raven Cyber Academy's exclusive YouTube channel membership. Unlock premium benefits like special shoutouts and videos, and influence our content with your suggestions. Be part of a global community of digital defense enthusiasts, gain insider access to exclusive perks, and support our channel's mission to create valuable content. All this for a mere $4.99 per month. Dive deep with TAC Raven and supercharge your cybersecurity journey today. Picture this, four teenagers barely out of high school infiltrating the systems of the US Army and Microsoft stealing over 100 million in intellectual property. Unbelievable, right? Yet that's exactly what happened. In a tale that seems more suited to the pages of a cyberpunk novel than the realms of reality, a group of young hackers, aged between 18 to 28, executed a heist of shocking proportions. Their targets? None other than the US Army and the tech giant Microsoft. Their loot? Intellectual property worth between 100 to 200 million dollars. Before we dive into this thrilling tale, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more incredible stories like this one. These weren't just any run-of-the-mill hackers. These were teenagers, still grappling with the trials of youth, yet capable of pulling off a stunt that would make even the most seasoned criminals blush. The audacity of their actions was only matched by the scale of their theft. In the vast, interconnected world of cyberspace, these young minds found their playground, employing tactics such as SQL injections and pilfered employee credentials, they bypassed security measures, infiltrated servers, and gained unauthorized access to highly sensitive information. They stole software, source codes, and even pre-release games, leaving a trail of digital chaos in their wake. The value of what they stole is staggering, but the true cost of their actions extends far beyond dollar signs. They exposed vulnerabilities, shook institutions to their core, and forced us all to confront the stark reality of our digital age. That in a world increasingly ruled by technology, no system is completely safe from the audacity and cunning of a determined hacker. In a world where technology rules, these teenagers turn the tables orchestrating a cybercrime of unimaginable proportions. How does a group of teenagers infiltrate the systems of some of the most secure organizations in the world? Let's unravel this digital mystery. In the realm of cybersecurity, the term SQL injection may sound technical and complex, but it's actually a rather simple concept. Essentially, it's a code injection technique that hackers use to attack data-driven applications. This is done by inserting malicious SQL statements into an entry field for execution, often with the aim to dump the database content to the attacker. Now imagine a group of teenagers proficient in this technique, targeting some of the most secure systems in the world. With a few keystrokes, they craft malicious SQL codes, tricking the system into revealing sensitive information, like an archer hitting a bullseye from 100 yards away. But SQL injections were just one weapon in their arsenal. They also managed to get their hands on stolen employee credentials. You might ask, how can such a thing happen? Well, it's surprisingly easy. An unsuspecting employee could click on a phishing email, or their credentials could be leaked in a data breach. Once the hackers have these credentials, they essentially have the keys to the kingdom. They can log in as if they were the employees themselves, bypassing security measures and gaining unauthorized access to sensitive data and systems. This combination of SQL injections and stolen credentials gave these teenagers the power to infiltrate the systems of the US Army and prominent tech companies, including Microsoft. They were like digital ghosts, slipping through the security nets and accessing the most confidential of information. But here's the thing. This wasn't some harmless prank or an innocent game. This was a calculated, audacious act, a brazen theft of intellectual property worth between $100 million and $200 million. Armed with just their computers and an audacious plan, these teenagers breached the impenetrable, crossing over into the realm of serious crime. What were the spoils of this audacious cyber heist? Let's dive deeper into the stolen treasure. From the digital vaults of the US Army and Microsoft, 
the hackers pilfered an enormous trove of intellectual property. The loot was not just any mundane data, it was a treasure chest of high-value assets, the kind that could reshape industries and even the battlefield. The first category of the stolen goods was software. This wasn't your run-of-the-mill applications or games. We're talking about cutting-edge technology, the kind that powers some of the world's most advanced systems. It was the kind of software that is jealously guarded by companies and governments alike, for it represents years of research, development, and investment. Next up were source codes. These are the building blocks of software, the secret recipes that make applications tick. Having access to these codes is akin to having a master key, a tool that can unlock the inner workings of a system. It could allow someone to replicate, manipulate, or even sabotage the original software. The hackers also made off with pre-release games. Now these might seem like a less serious theft compared to the rest, but consider this. The gaming industry is a multi-billion dollar business. These pre-release games represent potential blockbusters, the revenue from which could run into millions. By stealing these games before their official release, the hackers had essentially hijacked a significant revenue stream. And let's not forget the military software, this was perhaps the most alarming part of the haul. The hackers had managed to steal Apache military software, a vital cog in the US Army's arsenal. This software is not just valuable, but also highly sensitive, as it could potentially be used to compromise national security. All these assets, when combined, represented a staggering value. We're talking about a haul worth between $100 million and $200 million. It was a theft of epic proportions, a heist that exposed the vulnerabilities of even the most secure systems. The haul was staggering, an intellectual treasure chest worth between $100 million and $200 million. It was a theft of epic proportions. Every crime story has its turning point, the moment when the net begins to close. Let's talk about that moment for our audacious hackers. In the world of cybercrime, the stakes are high and the law enforcement agencies are never far behind. As our four hackers reveled in their digital victory, the Federal Bureau of Investigation had already begun to piece together the puzzle of their cyber heist. If you're enjoying this narrative so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more gripping content. Continuing on, the FBI, renowned for its investigative prowess, had been hot on the trail of these cyber pirates. They were painstakingly tracing digital footprints left behind, following the trail of stolen intellectual property, and deciphering the complex web of SQL injections and stolen credentials that the hackers had spun. As the investigation deepened, the FBI started to connect the dots. The repeated SQL injection attacks, the stolen employee credentials, the unauthorized access to the servers of the US Army and Microsoft, it all started to form a picture. A picture that soon revealed the faces of our four audacious hackers. In a swift operation, the FBI moved in on the culprits. They seized an estimated $620,000 in proceeds from the cyber heist. The money? a mere fraction of the stolen intellectual property's value, was tangible of the hackers' illicit activities. But the real victory lay in unmasking the individuals behind the screens, the ones who had dared to infiltrate the systems of the US Army and Microsoft, stealing not just software, but also the peace of mind of millions. The net had closed. The FBI, with its relentless pursuit of justice, had turned the tables. The hackers, once the hunters, had now become the hunted. The game was up. The masterminds behind one of the biggest cybercrimes in history were about to face the music. Crime, as they say, doesn't pay. So, what were the consequences for our teenage hackers? Well, the arm of the law stretched far and wide, eventually catching up with these prodigious yet misguided talents. The four hackers, aged between 18 and 28, were charged by none other than the US Department of Justice. The charges were not light either. They faced allegations of computer fraud, copyright infringement, wire fraud, and a serious charge of identity theft. The hackers had used tactics as sophisticated as SQL injections and as simple as stolen employee credentials to gain unauthorized access. These tactics, while clever, were ultimately their downfall, leading to charges that could potentially put them behind bars for a significant amount of time. Two of the accused didn't waste time. Recognizing the gravity of their situation, they chose to plead guilty. The charges they pleaded guilty to were no minor infractions. 
Conspiracy to commit computer fraud and copyright infringement were among the offenses they admitted to. This was no small matter. These charges carried with them potential prison sentences, a sobering reality for these young individuals. The magnitude of their alleged theft was substantial. The intellectual property they had stolen was estimated to be worth between $100 million and $200 million. This included software, source codes, and even pre-release games. The severity of the charges reflected the scale of their crime. U.S. Attorney Charles M. Oberly III emphasized this fact, highlighting the serious consequences of cybercrime. These were not random acts of mischief, but calculated criminal activities that had the potential to cause significant harm. The fallout was severe. The consequences of their actions were about to become very real. In the aftermath of this shocking crime, what lessons can we learn? This question echoes in the hallways of technology companies and the chambers of justice. It's a stark reminder of the magnitude of cybercrime, its implications, and the urgent need for robust cybersecurity measures. One cannot ignore the serious consequences of such actions, as emphasized by U.S. Attorney Charles M. Oberly III. These aren't mere pranks, he stated. These are serious crimes with serious consequences, including potential imprisonment. His words resonate with a chilling reality. The four hackers, barely out of their teens, face charges including computer fraud, copyright infringement, wire fraud, and identity theft. The two who have already pleaded guilty could be looking at up to five years behind bars. Let's take a moment to reflect on the sheer scale of their crime. Intellectual property worth between $100 million and $200 million, stolen. This wasn't a simple snatch and grab, it was a meticulously planned and executed operation that exploited vulnerabilities and used sophisticated tactics like SQL injections and stolen employee credentials. As we grapple with the aftermath, it's important to understand that this is not an isolated incident but a part of a larger pattern. Cybercrime is on the rise and the stakes are getting higher. As technology advances, so do the methods employed by these cyber thieves. The battlefield is no longer restricted to physical spaces, it has shifted to the digital realm. In the wake of this case, it's critical for organizations to reassess their security protocols to fortify their defenses and to foster a culture of cybersecurity awareness. It's equally important to remember that law enforcement agencies are more vigilant than ever and the consequences of such crimes are severe. In the digital age, the battlefield has shifted and this case serves as a stark reminder of the serious consequences of cybercrime. This tale of audacity, intrigue, and downfall is a clear warning to anyone contemplating a life of cybercrime. Indeed, as we reflect upon the events that unfolded in this remarkable case, the sheer scale of the crime committed by these four young hackers is staggering. Their audacious heist targeted not only major technology companies, but also the U.S. Army, demonstrating the brazenness of their actions. These hackers, aged 18 and 28, infiltrated these systems, stealing intellectual property worth between $100 million and $200 million. This included valuable software, source codes, and even pre-release games, such a vast scale of theft underscores the severity of their actions and the potential damage they could have inflicted had they not been caught. In their pursuit of illicit gains, the hackers employed advanced tactics such as SQL injections and stolen employee credentials. However, despite their technical prowess, they could not evade the long arm of the law. Two of them have already pleaded guilty to charges including conspiracy to commit computer fraud and copyright infringement, facing serious consequences for their actions. The words of U.S. Attorney Charles M. Oberly III resonate profoundly in the wake of this case, reminding us of the serious nature of cybercrime and the potential penalties that await those who engage in it. Cybercrime is not a trivial matter, it is a serious offense that can result in severe penalties, including substantial fines and lengthy prison sentences. This case serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of cybercrime and the importance of maintaining strong cybersecurity practices. In an increasingly digital world, it is imperative that we remain vigilant against such threats. As we delve deeper into the digital age, let this story serve as a stark reminder. Crime in any form doesn't pay. If you found this story fascinating, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and remember, the internet is not a lawless playground.